Hello my fellow Whale Watchers and welcome to another hanger review. This time we will look at this Expert League 3 hanger of one of my subscribers. A bit of background, he writes that in beacon game modes he is usually the one rushing towards beacons and then gets targeted and loses all his spots quite quickly. So for this reason his favorite game mode is Team Deathmatch. So before coming to rebuilds, let's talk a bit about the reason why you do not like to play beacon game modes. Because that's actually a very common thing that I also notice a lot when I play in Champion League. Many players rush to a beacon, but they get taken out quite quickly. And then instead of the ones arriving at the beacon first, the other team gets the beacon instead. Simply because they have more firepower available at that beacon. There are a few reasons for this and it's good to be aware of them. In my tactics videos I show some hints on how you can get and hold important beacons. So part of it is tactics, but not all of it. Another part is that the builds in your hangar should be optimized for a certain role. A starting bot in beacon games is one of these roles. It needs to be reasonably fast and survive longer than your opponents on a beacon. There are several ways on how to do this. It comes down to a specific gear that you need to equip. But even then you will probably not succeed if you do not have proper team support. And this has to do with your teammates and matchmaking in general. So don't worry, what you experience is very normal. But it should not be a reason why you don't play beacon games. If your starting bot is not optimized for a beacon cap role yet, maybe for now you can just play a bit more conservatively and bring for example a support damage dealer at the start and follow one of your teammates that has optimized his gear as tanky beacon capper. Like this you can increase the chances of your team to win the race for important beacons at the start of a battle in an equally valuable role. In any case, for today's review I will consider your hangar as a team deathmatch hangar. So let's have a look at your builds. The Havoc Scatter Scorpion certainly is one of the best team deathmatch builds. It also works perfectly well in higher leagues. It is a high DPS assassin with a damage model and a money pilot even more so. Nothing wrong with this, just keep leveling up your weapons for now and bring your Scorpion to level 9 in order to unlock a third module slot. The Capri is the best robot in the game right now and also a very effective choice for team deathmatch. You run it with 3 toxins and a scald, probably because you don't have a 4th toxin. And, very interesting, you run it with the Medea Nerium pilot, which increases the damage of your DOT weapons. You run the cable with 2 balanced units, an armor module and advanced healing. So if you get a 4th toxin, you actually created one of the most effective counters to the Skyros robot. The Skyros is not so popular yet in Team Deathmatch, but there will be more coming in there in the future, I guess, because like the Scorpion, it also is an assassin type of robot. But also against other builds with resistance, this is a very good counter. And maybe even more valuable than this, you can heal up your teammates, especially Titans. The Fenrir is a very interesting hybrid setup with Hammer and Tarans. The natural choice for the Fenrir is to pair the Tarans with a Redeemer, but with a Hammer you get in more close range DPS. Two balanced units and armor module and advanced healing work together very well. And you also run the Bernadette Wolf Pilot. Great stuff! The Orochi with an MK3 Thunder and a Devastator. This looks like your starting bot for beacon games. It's also an assassin type of robot for team deathmatch that you need to play very carefully. Otherwise you will die very quickly against teams that run range builds. Last stand, a damage module and quantum raider indicate that your main target are other Orochis. With Madame Brigitte you have some more tactical choices that also come in handy in Team Deathmatch. The Siren with Smuta, Cromola and Redeemer. Also here my guess is that you run the Redeemer because you don't have a second Smuta. This can work also because your Redeemer is at a good level, but of course with a second Smuta your build will be even more effective, also because you run it with a nuclear amplifier. Balanced unit and a cloaking unit are also okay. Advanced healing makes the Siren more resilient against orbital strikes. Your money pilot is already at a quite decent level. Here another pilot such as Yang Li may be more effective in long terms, but also money works quite well and expertly, why not? Finally, your Muromets' Cataclysm Lantern Basilisk Hybrid. Also as a hybrid, this is a very powerful titan. In long terms, I would replace the Cataclysm, preferably with a Dazzler, so that you use weapons with similar mechanics. In my opinion, an accelerator is not the most effective module for the Muromets. The quantum sensor is quite effective as Muromets counter and for targeting other annoyances on the battlefield. For Master League, try to get some more good modules, preferably tier 4 damage modules of any sort. Also a Titan anti-control could come in handy, 
or if you prefer to camp, consider to get a second quantum sensor because the range stacks up. So all in all, this is a very reasonable team deathmatch hanger. In general, one thing that you can improve is your choice of weapons. If you mostly play team deathmatch, it cannot hurt to have a few more range weapons. With many brawler setups, you need to be lucky to spawn on the right map, then it can work, but in Master League you will see lots of Prismas and HMGs on the battlefield that won't allow you to come that close, especially in the beginning of the battle. So I would definitely try to get a second smoother from somewhere that you can put on your Siren. This can become your main range damage dealer, if you set it up for surviving long enough. And I would also try to get at least one or more sniper builds with at least 500 or 600 meter range. Good choices for weapons could be the Incinerator weapon family, Pulsars or Punchers. For Team Deathmatch in particular, also Prismas are quite devastating. So what would I upgrade next in your hangar? Definitely, you should improve the level of some of your weapons. As a start, I would get up the level of your Scatter and the two Havocs. These will stay in your hangar for a long time. If you like the Toxin Capri, also bring up the level of at least two of your Toxins. And finally, also the Fenrir can benefit greatly from MK2 status, then it will really start to shine as a tank. So this concludes my hangar review of this Expert League 3 hangar. In case you want your hangar to be reviewed as well, you can find instructions on how to apply in this video's description. Thanks for watching and see you on my channel.